not 43, I had a question coming out of chapter 4, number 85. And to get to number 85, we had to read a few problems ahead of it. It said, um, recently a nurse commented that when a patient calls the medical advice line claiming they have the flu, the chance that he or she truly has the flu is only 4%. And of the next 25 patients calling in claiming they have the flu, we're interested in how many actually have it. So our variable here, I wrote it for us, right? X is the number of patients who actually have the flu in our sample of 25 patients. Now, number 85 specifically says find the probability that at least four of the 25 patients actually have the flu. So I'm going to write this out here. I want to write the words probability. Oops, that's not how you spell probability. Probability. Oh, we're going to pretend I know how to spell my own my own word. Okay, probability at least four have the flu. So I want to break this down. At least four have the flu. So when you hear the phrase at least... Right? If you are into math symbols, that would be greater than or equal to. right? I think when I hear at least, and let me actually be more specific, we'll go with at least four. right? And let me erase this and draw this just a bit better. So if we hear at least four, again, to me, I hear greater than or equal to four. Some of you might hear the other phrase, you might hear four or more. right? But either way, we got to get to that symbol that we're going to put in our parentheses. So you hear probability, capital P, right, stuff in parentheses, and then you see the format, letter, symbol, number, right? So that's where I'm getting probability of X is greater than or equal to 4. Now let me clear that out just so we can keep on moving. Now how these always start out is I want you to start in the parentheses, right, your artificial x-axis. So if we look at x being greater than or equal to 4, I'm going to keep a tally of what we want to include. All right, so I'll start with 0, right? 0 is not greater than or equal to 4, so I leave that out. 1 is not greater than or equal to 4. 2 is not greater than or equal to 4. 3 is not greater than or equal to 4. But sure enough, 4 is, 5 is, and then all of these numbers are, right? So I want all of these numbers from here on up. I want to include all of those. So really, if I go back to my highlighter, I want to include all of these numbers. Now, admittedly, a bunch of them are zero because they're not that likely, but these are the numbers that I want to include in my tally. And the thing is, we just don't have a greater than or equal to button on our calculator. So if I want all of the numbers from four on up here, what I do not want, what I want to get rid of, is three on down, right? These are the ones I do not want. So that's why you see me saying I have the complement rule with one, because that's always the probability of our entire sample space. I want the complement two, three on down. And the reason we go there is because we do have a button for less than or equal to, right? We have a CDF. And so that's why you see me putting NPK here, right? 25.04 and three, and there's my answer. So this is a matter of saying, okay, I have a binomial probability, which we would have figured out in 84. And then because it's a binomial probability, I don't actually need to make this table. I made it just so you could see it. But if you want the probability of four or higher, it means you do not want three on down. So I use the complement rule with a little binomial CDF, and there you go. All right, thanks, every thanks so much, everyone. Bye.